Hey guys, today we're going to take an example of how TCG Player actually works and whether or not it will prevent future buyouts or at least mitigate them in some sense. So Back to Basics was a target by the MTG Finance community. It sees semi-cyborg play and legacy, not that many decks want it, and it's not that good against many decks. So, but it's on a reserve list. It's an old card from Urza Saga. You can see the market price is 1165. The lowest price is 1565 with 299 shipping, so more along the lines of if you actually buy it, about 20 bucks, and that's moderately played. And the listed median is 1949 with shipping. So essentially, you're going to pay $19 if you want this card shipped to you. The card on TCG Player is $19. If there's, it looks like there's eight copies of it among seven sellers. And here's the interesting part. TCG player is saying the market price is $11.65. The cheapest you can buy it is for around $20. But on eBay, you can get them for around $12. And you can even buy it now. So I did look at a few finished auctions around $10, $12. But buy now is a very good indicator. It kind of represents more of a TCG player where anytime someone can just buy it as opposed to having to wait, maybe bid, maybe be outbid. Uh, and that's kind of a guaranteed purchase. You can buy it now for $15. And there's a lot of copies for $15 or under. So the actual price, I believe, for this card at right now is $15. It's not $12 in TCG market price, but it's also not... The $20 that you would be paying for it if you went off TCG um, listing medium. It's mitigating it somewhat, but I think it went in the opposite direction. So this card did spike in price. It was a card that people wanted to buy out. Uh, but typically they buy from TCG player and then eBay. And I always recommend you guys, if the card is low in stock, go on eBay. You can buy for a lot cheaper there normally. Uh, it's also interesting to see who these dealers 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 are because they probably have eBay accounts and um, they are overcharging on TCG player and they probably know that they are. Anyway, bye guys.